Hi there. Well, I wanted to show you this book that I bought about uh, nearly 20 years ago. Uh, it says it was originally published in the UK at 1984, I think. It was. Let me just check that. Check that date. Uh, yes, first published in the UK, 1984. I think that was the hardback edition. Um, but, uh, of course, as you can see, mine is the softback. And the book is The Biography of Jean Vincent, The Day the World Turned Blue, by Britt Haggerty. And I've always liked Jean Vincent. Uh, sort of a fascination about him really probably because i've always been fond of eddie cocker and you see and the two the two seem to go together great painting of him there anyway uh i i bought this and well it says the original price here is five pound 95 i think i paid more than that for it though because i think i sent for a mail order and it's probably one that wasn't sold um and was in in stock in some companies um, uh, archives etc anyway i bought this because at that time i was working on hollyoaks a um channel 4 tv soap and there's a lot of waiting about a lot of sitting down a lot, lot you know boring time and and occasionally you meet some very interesting people and you get talking to them uh so I bought this thinking, well, I can just delve into into this. Those days, n nothing like a Kindle or anything like that. If you wanted to read something, you've got to read the, the printed word. And I'd read endless um, rock biographies on, you know, lots of other artists, Bob Dylan, God knows what else. And I probably probably read things many times about Dylan, but still, that's that's for another day. This book, though, um, I'd read a review sometime before, and it was recommended, prob probably in Record Collector. And uh, it's, it's a brilliant read. In fact, I've read it twice over the years, and I've got pretty much all of Jean Vincent's recordings. Jean Vincent, 1935 to 1971, was a preeminent figure in the development of rock and roll music in the 50s and 60s. His most famous early hits, Bebop Alula and Lotta Lovin', sold millions of copies and are still performed by rockabilly bands all over the world. Although his left uh, leg was crippled in a motorcycle accident, Vincent dressed completely in black leather, was a tremendously hyperactive stage performer and symbolised the rebellious, almost diabolical aspect of rock and roll. Uh, in the first comprehensive biography of the rock star who makes Johnny Rotten look like a schoolboy, Vincent's professional and personal life is explored through the eyes of the people who knew him, his family, friends, bandmates, ex-wives, business associates and fans, illustrated with previously unpublished photographs. The Day the World Turned Blue chronicles the life and times of the screaming end, a man who was an uncompromising rocker, an enigma and a legend, Brit Haggerty, author of Prisoner of Desire and Sad Paradise, is a writer, a long-time musician and a rock aficionado. He lives in Vancouver, Canada. And what a what better place could there be to live, Vancouver? Great. Lovely clean air, apparently. Um, there are photographs in of Jean various times. It also details the, the uh, fateful tour uh, of the UK with Eddie Cochran. They had that appalling crash which ended up costing Eddie Cochran his life and he was sort of snatched away far, far too early. Uh, let's see if we can find something else. Another photograph. Now, there he is in his leather stuff. He had a bit of a comeback uh, before the start of the uh, 70s. And I think he'd, he'd put on a fair bit of weight at that time. He'd always been troubled uh, by his use of amphetamine and 
drinking alcohol and um, from what I recall he was t-boned he was he, he was going to cross a uh, intersection and uh, somebody hit him so somebody in a car I think hit him and that was it he'd been in the navy and he'd been asked many times they wanted to take his leg off and uh, he steadfastly refused that he'd been in hospital for a long time after this this terrible terrible accident uh, and of course he was in the car with Eddie Cocker and that other awful accident but uh, Gene Von Vincent steadfastly refused to have an amputation of the leg probably would have fared better in the long run but he just wasn't having any of it so he battled through with acute pain down the years and I think it changed his personality as well when you read the book to how he was originally pre this accident um, it was unfortunate really but these things happen there he is on the stage uh, all the photo oh and here is a photograph now this is uh, must be from that tour because there's G Vincent Joe Brown my mother loved his hair um, you can guess who that is can't you yes it is yeah it's G Gene Vincent Joe Brown Billy Fury such a good looking guy uh, and Eddie Cochran Eddie Cochran's wearing a, a cross I think it was a cross that was given to him by his mother but the information about that tour is very very interesting Gene full flow again there uh, as it says that they, they speak to his various wives and how he was is one of his wives here this is Darlene rather alluring shot there isn't it uh, stage performance I think really n no one can actually get to the to the hub of what Gene Vincent really was like uh, mainly you know a lot of people go on about how he was when he was known post accident and how he reacted and uh, he was known to carry guns with him as well um, which caused various problems but it's a brilliant read this if you're interested in that period of time and you're interested in, in Eddie Cochran and what went on pick this book up if you can possibly find a copy the day the world turned blue Brit Haggerty Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye for now.